Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Zifu. How are you all going today? And today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make a professional looking logo, YouTube logo that is, in paint.net. So first of all, click on image, so file, new, and make sure it's 800 by 800 pixels. That is the icon size for YouTube. So new layer down the bottom, click that. Now you've got a new layer up here. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a set in the middle for our, um, my YouTube font thing. So scale it up to where you like it. I'm going to have it a bit bigger. Just find something you like first. So, not too sure which one I like. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do it up to 600. Yep. 600's a bit big, so I might go down to 550, what's that? I might just do 500 actually. There we go, because that's a nice size, and that's what we like. So, get that into where you think the center is, or you could use the uh, parts up here, the grid references, but I'm not going to do that just yet. So, next you're going to go onto Google Chrome or whatever you use, and search up Polygon Background. Then you're going to find one that you like to use as the background for your letter that you put in the middle. You can change it after, but it is better you find one that's got a rough colour to what you want. So, I'm going to pick... I reckon, I'm just going to see how this works, actually. That looks nice. I'm going to get this one, actually. Now, this is six, 600 by 500. This is okay, because you don't want it too small as we did 800 by 800 pixels here. So you just want it to cover the letter, which this one does perfectly. So, go down to your second layer, so you're off of the um, new layer. Click the wand tool. Click the Z. Now you've got that, which is perfect. Now you want to click outside it, which I should have said. Now click back up to layer 3 and delete. So now you've got this kind of cool pa uh, pattern thing you've got going on here. So now we can delete layer 2 and make another layer over the background so it's under layer 3 or if it's above you can just drag it down. So now I'm going to search up space background. So just place that, oops, space. There we go. Now find one that you like. Maybe a nebula or starburst, something like that. I'm going to pick Seven, that's a bit small, see? 720 by 320, just a bit small. So something more like, probably, how about, okay, I've got a better idea. I'm gonna search up Nebula. This might, yeah, there we go. Got a bit better looking things here. Now this is a lot bigger. You don't wanna get something too big, cause as you um, scale down something for high resolution, it usually makes it a bit, um, lower quality, so I'm going to do this, I'm just going to scale it down a tad so we get a bit more of the picture in. There we go, that's nice about there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into effects now, so make sure you're on layer 3, the layer you put your background on, and I'm going to go to photo and vignette, or vignetta, however you want to say it. So, this essentially makes a black circle around it. So. That's nothing and that's quite obviously something really small. So I'm just going to put it so it's got a slight ring around it and density is just changing how dense it is. So anything a bit darker, I might just grab that. There we go. Now effects yet again and I believe, let me just find it. Um, oh, adjustments, it's in, sorry. Hue saturation. This is where you can change the color of it very roughly and what are the kind of saturation and it's light and darkness. So I'm going to put everything back in the middle and I reckon I'm going to just saturate a little less, make it actually uh, zero, on, I think it's one actually, and keep it at the color it is because that's a nice color actually. So I'm going to keep it at that, saturate it just about there. Now I'm going to go back up to layer 3 and I can zoom in down here and what I'm going to get is this line tool. That's a bit big so I'm going to take it down to possibly 2 and change it to white. So that's a nice kind of thing that you can get. 
So I'm gonna delete that. Oh, sorry, change that. So make a new layer, and I'm gonna have to rechange that to two and change it to white. So what you're going to want to do is select a point which is here of the um, letter and just drag it into a corner and then take it back to the other letter drag it up to the next corner and just do that around the whole letter. Okay, so now you've got a really nice looking outline on it. So another thing that you can do is if you search up grunge, you can get something like this, copy it, paste it into a new layer, so yet again, new layer, edit and paste. Keep the canvas size and just drag it with while holding shift to keep the size ratio until it just fills the box. Now something cool you can do here is if you click properties and drop the opacity you can drop it down so it makes a kind of old cracked effect. So I'm going to keep it at that and now I'm going to click on the layer 3 where we've got our text. I'm going to click in the middle and now not everything is going to be highlighted so I'm going to hold control and click again. So that should highlight everything. Now I've got that selected, I'm going to go up to layer 5 and click delete. So now our pops out a bit more and looks a lot nicer. Okay, another effect that you can do if you want, this is entirely up to you, click back to layer 3 and you need a few things installed for this but you can quite easily search up another video that has this. So Drop Shadow, which is a plugin that you can get for paint.net. Offset it just slightly by X and Y and drop that down till it's a nice dark colour that you want. So I'm going to go with black and that looks like it's just really popping out from a nice shadow. So that's it, that's all that you need to do to make a professional looking logo. So thank you all for watching, hope you've enjoyed. Like, comment and subscribe if it has helped you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I shall see you in the next video. Take care.